Hi everyone and thanks for being with me. Now, should we all be concerned that there is a spy within? Somebody who's lurking in the background, a political person, we assume, who has had access to certain secrets that may be passing them off to a foreign country. Who could this person be? We're all kind of flabbergasted to think that this could actually happen in a country like Australia. Free from all sorts of involvement with other countries, such as countries we hate, such as China, Russia, North Korea, and almost any other country that thinks differently to us. So who could possibly have given away some of our secrets? And so this has left us wondering a little bit about what secrets did they give away, if any, why were they not prosecuted, and why aren't they specifically, at this particular point, locked up in jail? Well, we don't know the answer to any of those questions. But there is a report that came out in the, uh, in the Guardian at the time that this happened. So I've got, I'll just show a little bit of that report and then um, I'll play a little bit of Mike Burgess's uh, speech that he gave in a report from the ABC in relation to this, just for us to think a little bit more about what all of this means to you, to I, to the rest of this world and how devastating it must be to realise that there are people from other countries actively endeavouring to recruit Australians to spy for them. It's not like, you know, I'm a bit surprised that this for some is a new revelation. I'm sure it's happened before. And uh, I'm trying to remember some incidents back in the 50s and 60s where this did happen. Uh, but here it is happening again. Why should we be surprised? So this is the article. So uh, Asian politicians sold out to foreign regime after being recruited by spies. The ASIO boss, which is Mike Burgess, said a former Australian uh, politician sold out their country party and former colleagues after being recruited by spies for a, for, a, for a foreign regime, according to Australia's domestic intelligence agency. The head of ASIO, Mike Burgess, made the allegations as he outlined the prolific activities of a spy network he labelled the A-Team and said the A, I believe, stands for Australia. So that's the A-Team. Uh, although he did not name the former politician nor the country involved, delivering its annual threat assessment on Wednesday evening. Burgess said ASIO confronted the spy network last year and was now speaking publicly about it because we want the A-Team to know its cover is blown. Well, I'm pleased to hear that they're letting everybody know that. He said more Australians were being targeted for espionage and foreign interference than ever before, and people need to understand the threat was deeper and broader than you might think. And I don't think necessarily it should be a surprise to any of us that this is what is happening. So let's just go and see what the actual report is. And also, you'll hear in this, uh, in this video, you'll hear from Burgess himself, and uh, the ABC commentators. Years ago, the A-Team successfully cultivated and recruited a former Australian politician. This politician sold out their country, party, former colleagues to advance the interests of a foreign regime. At one point, the former politician even proposed bringing a prime minister's family member into the spy's orbit. Fortunately, that plot did not go ahead, but others did. So, Andrew, with ASIO having gone this far, who's demanding further information, including a name, be put on the public record? Well, you can imagine with such a sensational uh, case and allegation being aired publicly by Australia's domestic intelligence chief, the guessing game inside this building is furious and people are wanting to know more details. Uh, there's been claims even from the former Treasurer Joe Hockey that by not having this person publicly identified, it is, quote, besmirching the reputations of every former MP in this building. So where does this leave us? Well, we could be sitting back right now and wondering, is it John Howard? Does it go back that far? It could, because the, only, the legislation that they now refer to that could hold a person accountable that is under the current legislation, uh, I think was legislated in 2018. So prior to that, clearly there may not have been the legislation that they could have used 
to have prosecuted this person given whatever his offending is. So my guess is it's someone prior to 2018. Now, Scott Morrison does come to mind, I want you to know. And uh, so, you know, and uh, he probably wouldn't have known that he did it if he did do it at all because Scotty really isn't all that bright. And maybe he's left politics now because he knew the shit was going to hit the fan with regard to allegations in terms of him being a spy. I think that would be the sixth position he would have taken on as uh, when he was in government, also a spy. So who else could it have been? Well, John Howard, potentially. It could have been any member of the party. Tony Abbott, perhaps, you know. Maybe it was even Rudd. Uh, maybe it was Gillard. Uh, who knows which one of these people had been influenced by an overseas power. We do not know. But I tell you what, it's going to be fun finding out, and I don't even give a shit which side of politics it is, providing that person gets revealed. I'd like to know what you think. Firstly, who do you think it could be? And secondly, um, do you think that this person should be named and shamed as a result? Because I do. Um, it's a treasonous event, and it should never have happened, and it will send the strong message to other people who are thinking of the same uh, not to go down this path. What do you think? Please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, do all that sort of shit. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I just want to say, this is an extremely bipartisan type of uh, post. So if anybody wants to shit on me, feel free, because I, <laughs> I actually don't care anyway. Um, but I do get lots of posts that are pretty damn negative. So let me know what you think in the comments below. We don't really want to care what you say, providing it'd be nice to know if someone presented something that was insightful. So if you've got something insightful to say, uh, even though it might be opposed to what I'm saying, I'd still love to read it. So take care, everybody. Look after yourselves. And more importantly, be safe.